Hey, this is David Miller with the Miller Group of Keller Williams Realty. I'm here to help you get real estate smart. All right, we're gonna dive right into the top four things you can do to get rid of debt if you have it when you're already retired. So let me give, give you some facts about debt. Back in 1989, when people retired, about 50% of them did have debt. That could be um, a home that they are still paying down, um, or it could be uh, credit cards, whatever the case may be. Well, in 2022, that jumped up to 75%. Now, don't get me wrong, not all debt is bad. If you have a debt, let's say on your house, and you're able to use that for a tax advantage, and that frees up other money that you can reinvest and get a higher rate of return, that's not bad. But if you have debt such as credit card debt, where the interest rate is you know, 17% or 25%, whatever it is nowadays, that will definitely eat away your money. So here's the top four things that you can do to help you get rid of debt when you are already retired. Number one, you can get a side job. Now, a lot of us have expertise that we acquired over the years being in a certain field. So I find a lot of people like to do that part time and they can provide consulting services for the companies that they used to work for. So that's a great way. Another way is you can get a part-time job in something that you enjoy doing. If you like to fish, then maybe you can work at a fish and tackle store and you're getting paid for doing something that you enjoy doing. The second thing you can do is you can consider downsizing or moving. So if you're in a very large house and you haven't downsized yet, your property taxes are going to be higher than if you were to downsize. Your home insurance is definitely going to be higher than what it was. And your maintenance cost is going to be higher. So if you were to downsize into a smaller property, that's a better fit for your lifestyle as well. That's going to reduce your monthly costs, free up some money that can start paying down some of the debt. The other option is you can move into another area that has a lower cost of living. So you see people moving from New York City all the time down to sunny Florida because up there things are so expensive and they're not as expensive down here. Plus, there's no income uh, tax in Florida compared to other areas. The third option is you can time when you use your Social Security. As you know or don't know, the sooner you use it, the lower it's going to be. Every year you wait is about an extra 8% more that you're going to get per month from Social Security. So you probably want to speak to a financial planner because you can start getting it early that can help pay down your debt. Or maybe it's better to cons uh, do like the consulting job and then get it later. So over time, it gives you more money. The fourth thing is you can tap equity into your house. If you do have a property that you own, you probably have it either paid off or you have most of it paid off, you could do a home equity loan on it if you wanted to. Now you gotta be careful, okay? Because when you do that, and if you can't pay that, they can take your house. So they're using your house as collateral. But it could be a great way to pay down credit card debt that you might have that's at 15 to 25% and be able to get it down to 9%. So those are the top four things you can do to help you reduce your debt if you have it when you're retired. I hope that you are now real estate smart.